All right, hello, kinder kids. It's week three of our story time and activities, getting you ready for school next year. This week, I've got some new visitors. I've got a big teddy. I've got Charlie, and I've got Mrs. Madison. Now, Mrs. Madison's got a big belly. She's heading off to have a baby in a few weeks, but she'll be back next year, halfway through the year, and you'll meet her then. So, we've got a cool book. Charlie's made some cool ears to be like a bear. And Mrs. Madison's going to make some. And I've got some paper here for you to make one at the end as well. All right, here we go. So here is our book this week. It's called Don't Call Me Bear by Aaron Blaby. Now, Charlie, I think this is a koala. And I don't think koalas, sometimes people call koalas koala bears, but this koala does not like to be called a bear. All right, let's have a look. Right. Don't call me bear. G'day, my name's Warren, and I've got something to share. Bear. Just because I'm funny doesn't mean that I'm a bear. Not a bear. Is this a bear, Charlie? Want to give him a cuddle? We'll put him on the seat. Is this a koala? No, this isn't a koala. It's just a bear. It's not a bear. I'll tell you how this started. It's been going on for years. Captain Cook said, Hey, look, a bear. Now, Captain Cook was a man that came from England. And when he first saw it, he came from England and they didn't, don't have koalas there, so he thought it looked like a bear. Those silly pioneers. Here we go. So here are some other animals that Captain Cook when he came to Australia. And these are some animals that they don't have in Australia, um, in England. We've got a possum, a kangaroo, a wombat, and a koala, and a Tassie devil. Can you think of any other animals that you might be just from Australia? Can you think of any, Sarah? Um, a, kookaburra? a kookaburra was the one I was thinking. Or maybe those those pesky magpies that are out at the moment. <laughs> See, if you'd done their homework, then they'd know it wasn't true. Marsupials is where we is what we are, and you should know that too. But if I've got a dollar every time you called me bear, I tell you what, no mistake, I'd be a millionaire. Australia doesn't have bears, except at the zoo. No bears. We don't have bears, <laughs> Charlie, do we? We have koalas. No, we do not have bears. Don't call me bear. <laughs> <laughs> We've got teddy bears. We've got teddy bears. You find bears up in Canada and polar regions too. I don't live in the USA and catch fish in a stream. I'm not some 10-foot grizzly bloke who makes bushwalkers scream. So, I have had a gutful, and I'm sorry if I shout. I'm not a bear, I'm really not, and you need to sort it out. Hmm, it's getting a bit grumpy. Kangaroos are kangaroos. You don't call emus chooks. A platypus is not a duck, even though that's how it looks. But why am I so different, pal? Yeah, what's your little game? Why am I the only mug you don't call by his name? Why am I the only one in the whole entire bush? See, there he's shouting there. He's very not, he's not happy at all. You may not be a bear, mate. But you look like one, though. And then he yells out, shush. He's not very happy. He's going, shush, Charlie. He's not a bear. What a cute little bear. Yeah, bears are great. He's not very happy, is he? Hmm. That's a very funny book. Now, Aaron Blaby, he writes lots of books, so you might know him, him as an author. Now, Charlie, can you show the kinder kids 
at home your bear ears. Can you show them your bear ears? We're going to make some bear ears. I've got some bear ears for my bear that I made. Do they look good? And Sarah, can you show the kids how they're going to make it their own yeah. bear ears? Yep, so you can get your two pieces of paper and we're going to sticky tape them together. Then I'm going to measure it around my head. Oh, yeah. Might need some help with from mum or dad with this one. I think there's about right. Did that look like it fit okay? If you take that part together. Mm, and this bit's sticking out. Oh, it needs some extra sticky tape. Don't know. Check it fits. Still fit? Still fits all right? Nice one. Good. My favourite colour, Sarah. Now I can colour in my bear ears. So I like orange and green. You're going to take a bit longer than this yep. though, aren't you, Kim? Sarah's <laughs> doing it nice and quickly. Put some blue around there. Beautiful. Better put some yellow on quickly. Yellow is my favourite. What, what's oh, your favourite yellow. Colour? What's your favourite colour, Charlie? Yellow. Green. I thought so. Got you green paper. <laughs> All right, then we're going to get our scissors. Oh, not like that, we're not. Might need mum or dad's help again with those. We need to cut our ears out. Stick them on, aren't we, Charlie? Yeah. Shall we cut on the line? Do you want to get the sticky tape ready, Charlie? Charlie, can you tell the kinder kids what grade you're in? Show them how many fingers. You're in grade three? Yeah, big grade three. I'm going to stick them on. Take our no, hands. not grade five, you're grade three. <laughs> We're going to stick out Here we go. Sarah needs some help. Get some sticker tape on there. If you've got glue, that's okay too. There we go. Come Teamwork. On. Now I can be a bear too. Does that look good? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well done, that's guys. Fun. If you want to come and visit school and get some paper, you can. I'll have them in the office. So here we go. Here's our book, Don't Call Me Bear, because he's a koala. See you guys. See you next time. Have fun. Bye. See you, Charlie. Say bye. Bye-bye.